In this first video, we're just going to learn how to install SCAR and learn some of the basic features. To get it, uh, you just go to this website, Freddy1990.com. He's the guy who uh, he didn't he didn't originally you know, write SCAR, but uh, he updates it now. So just click on uh, Normal Edition. Wait for it to download. All right, just run it, install. Use all the default options, uh, you know, for location, shortcut, and all the features. Shouldn't take too long. It's a pretty small program. All right, once it finishes, just launch it, and we'll get right into the features. All right, so when you started, you probably got about three pop-ups. I don't really have them right now because this isn't brand new install, but you should have gotten three pop-ups. Um, one would be the first one would be a big pop-up uh, window about you know welcome to score and all that. Just um, click never show again, and you'll be good. You don't really need that. The other two are about downloading SRL and includes. Just go ahead and press OK. And just download it real quick. And if you don't get those, then you have to go right here and download these two. The download SRL, just do it real quick, it won't take long. And uh, download includes, just overwrite them. You should be good for now. And now let's start learning about SCAR. SCAR was originally created uh, for a game called RuneScape. I don't know if you ever heard it, but it's not that important. The point is that it actually allows users to create scripts uh, that represent bots. Bots, I don't know, you probably, if you play any game you probably know what bots are. If there are aim bots in like Call of Duty. Well, um, SCAR lets uh, you control the mouse and keyboard automatically, you know. You can write a script to look for some color and then click it. Alright, so let's start by learning these three buttons right here. They're actually very important. This is the run script button, this is the pause script button, and this is the stop script button. The, the run script button starts the script, uh, so if you have a script that tells that tells SCAR to um, you know, go to move the mouse to a certain position and click it, and when, you press, when you press play, it'll first it'll compile it, which means, compile just means that it looks, it goes through the script looking for the errors, and it'll tell you if it has any errors. But if there are no errors, if it's all good, then it'll actually run the script. The pause, it pauses the script at a specific point. If you have a really long script and you want to pause in the middle, you know, just to maybe fix something in the, you know, in the, in the screen. You can always pause it with this and you can restart it later at the same point. But if you, this button is just stops it all together. Like if you, if you press this button and you stop it, and then if you press play again, it'll start all the way from the beginning again. These two, however, these are for debugging. We're actually gonna we're gonna go over them a little later once you learn how to script a little bit. All right, this button right here is very important. It is called the color picker, and it does exactly what it says. Actually, it freezes the screen when you press it. See how nothing is blinking? The screen is actually frozen. So this this tool is actually um, used for Two things. It it shows you the coordinate of your where your mouse is. See that four nine four four zero six, or as smooth it changes it. And it's, there's also the color number. So see how it changes when I go to the gray color, and then it's different when I go to the white color. One six seven, and then one five five. If you click it somewhere, it'll actually it'll actually show you right here what what you selected. So um, where I clicked, I clicked that the coordinate five nine four four five four. And I picked the color number 167772115, whatever. So this number right here, this is really useful. Um, this tool is useful for uh, when you're just beginning because you're going to use this a lot uh, for clicking specific points on the screen. And these four buttons right here deal with the interface. So they're not the most important buttons, but they are, they can be useful. Especially this one right here. The first button see this area right here is called the debug log and uh, this button right here just clears it you're going to use this a lot so it's good when you're restarting a script 
you just clear it once to get rid of all this stuff so you get a fresh fresh page to record all your you know if you get any errors or if you want to record uh, something in your script you know scripts record something um, this one right here just uh, creates you know opens this little box we're not going to use it too much so don't worry about this this one and this one just clears this box so these two aren't that important uh, we're probably never going to use them this one right here is actually uh, the toggle for the function list see the little see this appear right here function list um, don't worry about it for now it'd be, it'd be a little advanced topic I'll be later and this button right here finally this read scar news just downloads uh, the scar news uh, it's written by the developer you know Freddy 1990 he just releases these and lets you download them this last button with kind of like cross here is actually the awesomest button of them all um, what it does is it rewrites the relativity of the coordinate system so for example you see all the chords that scar records right here see the this is where your mouse is, it records the coordinates where your mouse are. So if I put my, my mouse all the way to the top left corner, I see zero, zero. If I, that's my minimum coordinate. If I put my mouse all the way to the top, bottom right corner, then you get my maximum coordinate. You know, it's pretty close to it. Uh, what this does, you know, to use it, you just uh, drag it to wherever you want to use it. See, you, you want to make this, this box the coordinate system. So let's make this box the coordinate system. You release, and now this. Now, when you when you put your mouse right here, you see how the coordinate system, how uh, the coordinate changes to zero zero. Scar now sees this as the top left corner of your screen. It's it's not really the top left corner of your screen, but Scar only sees this this part of the program as as the top left corner of the screen. So now, even if we move this window wherever we want on the screen, this will still be the top left corner of the screen and this will be the maximum coordinate of the screen. So well, this is actually really useful for um, creating more dynamic systems. For example, if you want to create a bot that cheats in a Flash game and you want to click somewhere specifically in the, in the Flash game square, then you can use this to uh, click in a specific part of the Flash game. If you didn't have this, you know you don't know where the user has their flash game. Maybe maybe they have it right here in the top left corner. Maybe they have it in the bottom right corner. So you can't specify a specific coordinate to click on the actual desktop. With this, you can actually specify a specific coordinate within the flash game itself. So even wherever the user has their flash game, if they if they put if you they use this cross here on the flash game, then the flash game will be this whole screen. Scar will see the flash game as a whole screen, so no matter where you put where you tell it to click, it'll click within the flash game, not within the the desktop. It's really useful and we'll we'll see some some uses for it later when we start scripting. The last two things are this this um this text area right here. This is the main script where we're gonna be writing everything. And this is the the debug log. It's where all the output is going to core like if you have errors or something check here always if you start your program and doesn't run or if your program stops in the middle just check here and you'll find an error that's pretty much it for these two and that's about it for the for the basic features of SCAR we'll go into some more advanced features a little later when we get into more advanced topics uh, for now just tune in next time for the next video we'll actually start learning how to make uh, simple scripts so tune in then